This is TJ with Tech Made Easy. Welcome to the channel. My channel is all about making things affordable, practical, and easy. And what we're going to be doing today is I have a hard drive in my TrueNAS server that has failed. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to replace that. So it's on bare metal that we're doing this with. Now we'll want to say something about if you're running a server and you're running RAID, that depending on your RAID configuration, whether it's TrueNAS or some other operating system that you're using for it, I want to just talk about RAID for a minute. So you have RAID 5, RAID 6. You have a mirror also. Uh, obviously a mirror is just two drives mirrored. RAID 5 is where you get one drive with one parity. RAID 6 is where you get two drives with two parity drives that go down. Now when would you want to use RAID 6? My rule of thumb is, and, and this can differ from, from person to person, um, my rule of thumb is, is if you're going to have more than six drives, you probably should do RAID 6 because the more hard drives that you have, the more chance that more than one hard drive could fail at a time. And so, uh, but that's up to you. That's kind of my rule of thumb. So I'll, my server has eight drives in it. One of them is failed now. And so we're going to go ahead and replace that. Now, I will say this much about TrueNAS. TrueNAS uses ZFS for their uh, file system. For RAID and I believe that that again this is my opinion that that is the best file system to run RAID on. Uh, it's a commercial based file system it's used in commercial servers um, but what TrueNAS also does it looks for bad sectors on your hard drive and it'll mark those bad sectors and it won't allow anything to write to those anymore but because you have parity um, anything that was bad on there it'll it'll go ahead and recover with the parity of your other drives so that marks that and it no longer uses that. Um, and so you're going to notice in here too that I do have a drive that has a couple of errors on it, but um, I'm not replacing that drive. I'm great replacing the one that's actually failed. So, um, but whatever whatever your system is using, Unraid is a different story as well because uh, Unraid runs different. You're not running all those hard drives all the time or you can shut them down until they need access to them. Um, but I always recommend if you're going to be doing a server that's on 24-7, those drivers spinning 24-7, that you use, that you buy server grade hard drives and not desktop hard drives. And so, um, and, and I'll mention this in the video also, um, I always buy used server hard drives from eBay. And I know that that might scare some people and um, I run HGST. Now I'm not saying that's the only server hard drive that you can buy from eBay. There, there are, there's a Seagate one that's really popular as well. But uh, let's go ahead and get into TrueNAS and replace this drive. Okay, so here I am at the GUI for my TrueNAS server. And I just want to explain something, my TrueNAS server, what it's comprised of. I'm using an HB Z420. Um, I've got a uh, E5 2690V2 in there. That's 10 cores, 20 threads. I don't run any applications from here. It's powerful enough to do that, but I just like to have a file server just be a file server only. So I do have 128 gigs of RAM, and I just RAM is so cheap on the X79. Uh, the X79 platform DDR3 error correction RAM is so cheap. I just threw in 128 gigs of RAM, where I'm running. TrueNAS with ZFS and ZFS is RAM hungry um, and you can see the cache right now for this is uh, 80, 80 gigabytes and so the more RAM you can throw at um, TrueNAS uh, the more efficient it becomes at all of this disk processing um, uh, disk writing and and reading and so um, so right now the problem is though as I do have a drive that's failed on me and I do have eight drives in this system and uh, they are eight eight terabyte drives and so uh, what you're going to notice here when we go in that um, what I did is I set up uh, RAID 6 and in ZFS or TrueNAS it's RAID Z2 so RAID Z2 allows me to have two drives go down and I would just recommend if you're going to have maybe say more than six drives that you plan on doing RAID Z2 it means it means you may have to have more drives than you want because you're going to have two drives of parity um, but the more drives you have then obviously the more chances of error that you may or the, the more chances of more than one hard drive going down 
at the same time goes up with the more hard drives you have. So in my case, I just have one that's that's gone back, it's gone down. And so we're, let's go ahead, go to storage, look at that drive, take it offline, and we'll replace it. And so out of those eight hard drives, I have two for parity. And so uh, the total capacity that I have in here is basically 41 terabytes. I'm using uh, almost 34 terabytes. And so uh, you get a warning anytime that your drive is more than 80% full. And so that's what this, this red is here. That doesn't mean that the drives are bad. That just is telling me that I'm um, getting low on capacity, which I still have almost eight terabytes of drive space left. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you the, the drive that's bad in TrueNAS and we'll go ahead and replace that and, and see how that's done. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna to go to storage, manage devices, and then what you're gonna see here is it's degraded and this, this drive here um, is out of commission. So um, I'm gonna take it offline Uh, now, one thing is, is you got to look over here at your serial number. Okay, so unfortunately when I set this server up, um, I didn't map which serial number went to which drive bay. Otherwise, I could just change it without turning the system off. But because I have eight drives that are eight terabytes each, I'm going to have to shut the system down and go find out which bay has that serial number in it. So I'm, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at my device. Okay, I wanted to show you this, and sorry it's blurry, I had to take a picture of it, but at any rate, what I wanted to show here is if we look at this, um, all of my drives say no errors, except for this one that says it's faulted, and it has 338 errors, but then we have this bottom one that has six errors. Now, just because a drive that will say it has six errors doesn't mean it's bad that you have to replace it. Uh, uh, TrueNAS and ZFS will mark any sectors of the drive that uh, maybe are having issues and after I resilvered everything these errors went away so I'm not sure what causes this but I'll be I will be watching this particular drive just to make sure um, but I've seen this happen before and I've gone into TrueNAS and then the errors are, are gone and I don't know if it's because it marks that part of the drive um, until the next time it does it scrubs it um, it knows that part's marked and so it says that there's no errors but I just wanted you to be aware of that. Uh, just because you see errors on a drive doesn't mean you have to replace it immediately. But if that scares you, do replace it immediately. And I'm just going to go ahead and shut this down right here. So we're going to go ahead and shut down. Like I said, normally if I would have kept those, I could have just pulled it out because it is hot swappable and then replaced the drive drives that I buy. I always buy used hard drives from eBay and uh, I've had good luck buying those used hard drives before. Uh, my last server I probably had for three years and never had a drive go down on me. Any of the drives I had in my first server that I very first did, I used desktop hard drives and that just don't buy desktop hard drives for a server. Um, and so I've really had good luck. So I bought these hard drives about a year ago um, and this is the whole thing. So this exact hard drive I bought and when I bought them, I knew I was going to be doing eight, so I bought an extra one. I always like to have an extra drive on hand in case uh, of a drive failure. So, um, and I know I've, I've talked about in the past that for some people to buy a used hard drive is kind of scary, but there's such a great deal. I've already I've already bought the replacement one for this. It's like $45 for an eight terabyte SAS drive. It's a 12 gigabit throughput, 72 RPM. Um, so. But just be aware, if you buy those used hard drives, keep one on hand, the possibility of one going down is gonna happen sooner or later. Whether you buy used or new, the possibility of a hard drive going down in a server is gonna happen at some point. Okay, so I'm in a maintenance room in our house. That's where I keep my servers. It's nice and cool in here, out of the way. Um, and so I have a couple servers in here, but this is a server I'm using. And this is a HP Z420 and the hard drive up here, this is the one I'm going to replace with. Now when I bought these hard drives, um, I basically bought them used on eBay and I bought them all at the same time. And the reason why I did that is, with TrueNAS, if you're going to replace a hard drive, 
it's got to be exactly the same or a little bigger than what you have in the system can't be any smaller and unfortunately hard drive manufacturers don't make uh, even though these are eight terabyte drives sometimes it's going to be 7.65 7.7 .7. they've got it's got to be exact or a little bigger than what's in your system and I want to already went ahead and found the drive that I need to replace and it's this one here and what you're going to notice here um, this is an HP Z420 I've had I've showed it before on my channel before and it's got like I said eight eight terabyte drives in it now what I could have done now what I did here is I just left this box outside so kind of Frankenstein a little bit now could I have all the drives enclosed yes I could because I you can get this same bay here to five bay and this will house three hard drives in here but I just did this out of convenience to be honest and so this is our hard drive that we need to replace um, and it ended with uh, TJR this is our new one and it's ending with 02R so I'll go ahead and put this in here and I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up and then we'll go into uh, true NAS now in this room <clears throat> I did turn the fans up on this computer. I don't know if that's really necessary because it really the 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 the, the drive bays have fans built into them, and so I don't and and I don't run anything on here. It's just a file server, so I could turn the fan down just to make it a little less noisy. And then I've got a monitor over here, and I've got a switch. I got a switch between to switch between um, three servers in here. Let's go put our new drive in. Okay, so I'm back in my system, and so now what we want to do is let's go back to storage. Let's go to manage disks, and let's click on our our RAID or our uh, dev here, our data dev. And here's the new drive I put in. So we want to click on it. I'm going to go ahead and put this online. So. I hit replace and then I want to say it's a member of this one right here and hit replace. Now force, I think what force does if that drive is bigger then it'll just force it to use it. Um, set this override safety check and add the disk to the pool warning any data stored on this will be erased. So I'm just going to, I'll go ahead and hit force and so I'm just going to hit replace. And now what's going to happen, it's going to be silver uh, or rebuild the RAID array on that drive. Okay, so now it's added that to that pool. And up here in the left-hand corner, you can see this uh, wheel spinning. That's because, and you probably can't see that. In fact, let me blow that up really quick. So if I click on this, it's saying it's resilvering. So it's rebuilding the RAID array. Um, so that's all there is to it. All right, so I showed you that this is showing that it's resilvering. If I uh, click on it, um, it'll tell you what percentage. So it's only done one percent um, of the uh, of the resilvering. It'll probably it. This could actually take um, who knows how. I mean, this might take 24, 48 hours. And you can also see it down here at the bottom of the screen. Resilvering gives you the percentage. And oh, looks, it says that it's going to take about 16 hours down here. So, so that's that's it really. You just have to let it run and do its thing. All right, so I'm back in the TrueNAS again, and uh, I just want to click into storage. It's done sil silvering, and again, you'll notice how this is red. It's just because I'm I've dropped below 20% on hard drive space. Uh, but let's go into manage device, and we'll look at our our disks here. And so now we can see that there's no errors on any of our devices. And, and it took maybe 20 hours for that to happen. Again, these are eight gigabyte drives or eight terabyte drives, and there's eight and there's eight of those drives in this in this server. This is TJ with Tech Mini Easy. Have a great day. Now that was easy peasy.